ميشا مالكيان مدير العام لمحل فلاورز سكوير Good afternoon, Mr. Misha. Good afternoon, Rehab. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm great. Thank you for having me and uh, making my story up on the pedestal as well. We are happy to meet you today. Thank you, thank you. This is a pleasure for me and a great thank opportunity you. to tell about my story. Thank you. In the beginning of the interview, let's know more about yourself. Who's Mr. Misha? So, uh, Mr. Misha is someone who's actually have come to UAE from a very young age. At the time, I did not know a lot about this world, what's happening. But as I grew up and I understood the opportunities that UAE has, and I graduated my high school here, and uh, I, I would say that uh, I discovered myself mainly in this country. And I'm very happy it happened here because I've, I've ha I have a huge network of people from different cultures, from different nat nationalities, which actually shaped me. And with time, I realized that I'm someone who likes to network, who likes to communicate, create relationships. And I hope it reflects through the business that my family holds. Uh, so you hold your uh, family business? Yeah, so I, I help. Flower Square, Flower Square is, uh, is our family business. Uh, and I, ha I mainly help my parents. But uh, I realized that uh, a lot of assistance they, that they ex expect from me. Mm -hmm. And I'm very glad to show and support them in any way. And uh, my parents are the main reasons that I'm, I'm here at the moment and uh, very happy to actually reach this point and be able to have a story of my own. Nice. So let's talk about uh, our business today, the Flowers Square. Yes. Since when we start or our family start this business? So uh, my family actually moved to Dubai, uh, UAE since the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And as the years rolled over, my, uh, my parents were working in a company initially, but uh, around the year 2000, uh, they realized the demand of flowers and the way the country was booming, the, the way people were uh, uh, coming back, coming to UAE and evolving, and they could actually understand the demand. And uh, with that, uh, unfortunately, fortunately for them, they could manage to set up a capital and open up this business. And that, so from the year 2000, we've been established until now. So 11 years, the, the company is 11 years old. And um, the, beginning, uh, the beginning of 2000, we know that 2008, there were the crisis. But right. at the end of the 2008, they could actually manage. And uh, the, reason, the main reason why they, they decided this kind of business and the flowers, mainly not other, other areas, is uh, with their interaction in the tourism industry, they could see a lot of demand coming from the tourists. And we know, we all know that the UAE initially evolved uh, on the basis of tourists. So as a result, they could manage to uh, create the supply and demand with the tourists and us. And that's where the company was born. Nice. And eventually, it, uh, it also ended up with, uh, with, uh, U with locals and the rest of the cultures that exist in UAE. So we, we began with tourists, but it did not stop us. We had to evolve in other areas and uh, attract other t uh, customer targets. Yes, exactly. So in 2008, it was not something that the decorations were, were just everywhere. Now you can. Now the competition is very severe. But at the time, it, it was a it was a nice time to enter the market. Yeah. So the barriers to entry were not also that that much, and uh, we could actually take our time, work on our designs, and actually give something good to our customers. Let's talk about the service today. What is the service we are giving? So, uh, so actually, in the flower market at the moment. They are literally from A to Z, wherever every flower shop would try to uh, provide from A to Z, wherever service, wherever event. But uh, it is crucial to not really focus on diversification so much. We can obviously, we, we do provide everything starting from weddings, from uh, uh, baby showers, from birthdays, conferences. But we make sure that we do not lose on our quality. Because when we, when we cover all those areas, it could, it, it would be very easy to lose on our quality. Yeah. And yeah. Lot of 
because we have to give exactly. different, different exactly. different Exactly, so it's important, time. yeah, so it's important to allocate our like labor resources. We make sure that our florists go on like frequent workshops, they do participate on updates, mm -hmm. so they can, uh, they can provide the, the, the state of the art design as well. And another very crucial part is that in, in, in this country, there, the multicultural uh, environment is quite uh, wide and every every customer has an individualistic uh, design preference yeah. so we have to make sure that we read through our customers taste and mind so we can provide uh, the correct design for them how we contact the customer today so uh, we we obviously appear on all social media we do send out the traditional ways the emails but the main the main strategy that attracts the customers is something unique where you can have your stocks, uh, stalls, sorry, on the conferences, on the exhibitions, where you can have one-to-one -one communication even with a few customers. It is really crucial to remember that the, you have to show individualistic relationship with a customer. If a customer feels they're being treated as everybody else, they don't really feel special about your company. Right. So we make sure that we, whenever we get a chance to talk with them, we really show an interest in the customer. Because flowers is not something like, uh, we, it's not something like Apple or a digital device that you just need to keep one standard quality. It is something that requires very uh, niche design approach for every customer. So bef prior to that, we need to read the customer's mind. And that is something that with years we try to develop with our florists so uh, we can get them to deliver that to our customers. Maybe today, because we continue on, on all, all of this uh, mm. year, we are working under the quality. Yes, yes. To give a nice, uh, service so for the so obviously, obviously yeah. it takes years and years of uh, practice, trial and error, and with years you realize where are the gaps in the uh, where are the gaps and the flaws in your company in your business. But uh, mainly it's just to focus on the customer. Well, I understand the competition is very severe. There you could find a flower shop everywhere on the blocks and some people might wonder what is that really trick what is that X factor that uh, keeps the customers going in one direction or in one shop. It is truly just focusing on the customer. If we focus on the competition, we just lose on the track. We don't really focus on fulfilling the customer's desires or the, uh, the aspirations that they have. We rather try to beat, the other ri we beat our rivalry, which may lose on our quality or even our focus as who we are for as a business. It's our future plan so for the next year. Uh, I'm, I'm the, the main one of the factors that I'm delighted to have to have this business in UA because it just keeps on growing and there is non-stop exhibitions and the Expo 2020 is happening next year yeah. so it's always happening and you if if we get in touch with the flow we can uh, we can get to our some of our goals so the next I would say after the Expo 2020 we're really planning to expand the business into Dubai so we're, we're trying to move a branch another branch in Dubai because and I would say the next biggest market share that we have is in Dubai. So it would be much more convenient when we have another branch, another set of florists uh, operating in Dubai. And uh, in that way, being closer to our competitors in Dubai itself, we can compete, I would say, a little smarter. Again, we should show our individualistic approach to our clients which uh, w which we, we would say we could say that um, in in UAE the dem demographics can vary so yeah. we have to make sure that uh, we stay we stay on tact Yes. Yes. So, uh, so Flower Square, Flower Square has the ability to be mobile around the whole UAE, even with deliveries, and at the same time making the events. For example, in Ajman, we we held uh, a, a wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. Despite the wedding ceremony, we also had a wedding uh, modeling event. So people would come, and the designers would show their wedding dresses. So we designed and decorated the event itself. So the location is not a problem for us, and uh, the delivery is something that we do around UAE as well. Uh, and uh, I must say that the 
this dynamic environment that we interact with, it keeps us growing. So we do not really stay stagnant because the market always keeps on demanding new designs, new events, new uh, exhibitions. And uh, yeah, so we're happy to, to, to actually locate in UAE. Yeah, nice. Mr. Michel, you came here in Emirates uh, in Yang. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you I was see pretty the, young. The different, uh, I I can say that I can say that uh, I actually, with in my blurred memory, but I, I could I saw and felt how UAE grew, and it was just inspiring me more more and more, because uh, back in the I would say from middle school I was here or even from primary school, and uh, with what I remember the country kept on growing more and more people and more and more businesses and more and more events and even for me maybe some attractions or. So many things kept on opening up that I could not even catch a breath to just stop and look what's happening. The country was just evolving, and it's, it's growing up fast. It's it's growing up very fast, and uh, thank, thanks to His Highness uh, Sheikh Khalid, uh, you know it was it's just growing, and um, I'm very happy to to have this business here because if we if we can catch with the flow with this flow of the economy, you can always get your segment from this success. Yeah. And there is never a bad business or bad idea or bad market. It's just a uh, bad perception. There is never a bad idea in a business. It's just always how you execute it. And it's just crucial to understand the market. There is a reason why some businesses succeed and why some don't. It's not about luck. The luck is a very small portion, but it's mainly about your analytical skills and the way you actually uh, perform in the market. Yeah, today we are living here in Emirates without any skills. Safety. Yeah, yeah, that that's another that the safety of this country is another factor that uh, I've always I've always been calm about and I always loved because at any time of the day I know my shop is safe. I know that the customers when they when they call us they know their orders will be delivered. There is very few scam happening, so there's a lot of trust already between the agents without us guaranteeing the clients. So the client knows that if a business is Based in UAE, there is a lot of safety, a lot of security, and uh, basically no fraud happening. We're very happy to, to have that image, you know, as a business. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Sheikh, uh, His Highness Sheikh uh, Khalifa. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm grateful uh, to have based my business in the, my family business in the UAE and feel so safe and secure at the same time. And the way you have established this, uh, this country and that it keeps on growing, the economy grows and we can always have our share from it. It just makes us feel so fulfilled and always feel satisfied being in this country. So thank you for that. Uh, for starters, I think like any other uh, successful teenager would like to thank their parents. I'm very grateful for my parents and I think everyone out there who's, uh, who's done something, they should really reflect back and see who are the basis for their success. I would say my parents and secondly, I would like to thank my, my friends because my friends have really, have really pushed me on, on every uh, pillar. They have really made me realize what is the potential and uh, how much I can achieve. And in general, I would like to thank the country that, <laughs> that actually accepted me and accepted my family just staying here and uh, living our life and doing what we love to do without any restrictions. So I'd like to thank the country. At the end. Hey!